Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters of the Week video. I thought I would mix this one in here while I'm continuing to do your mysteries and disappearances suggestions. This one once again comes from a website that I found that pretty much just creates a random cryptid to talk about. It's pretty neat. It's almost like a random number generator, but instead of doing numbers, it actually recommends cryptids. In this case, it landed on this creature, something that I've never talked about before, but it could be, once again, just a one-off creature that's found somewhere in this world, and it may even be a variation of a real-life animal in of itself. More on that here in just a moment. In fact, you're looking at a representation of it now. Looks very fascinating, doesn't it? It has an equally unique name. It's known as the Veo. So let's go ahead and let's talk about that here and then let's see if it truly is its own type of creature or if it's a variation, a runoff in other words, of an existing one. So here's all the information associated with this creature. So, so the Veo, what is it exactly? Well, it's a creature that's found in Indonesia, specifically on the island of Rinka. So those of you that are in that area, you might have more information on a local level as to this area there and then also the possibility of this cryptid being there but that's essentially where you'll find it and then when you go there the way you'll find it is you're going to look for something that's basically the size of a horse in fact let's go ahead and let's talk about those physical characteristics here this creature is for all intents and purposes a gigantic pangolin if you haven't seen those uh, animals those real life animals they look very, very unique. In fact, you're looking at a picture of a real one here. It's an anteater, but it basically has scales. They look very beautiful. They look like something almost like from a lost world, like something involving a dinosaur that basically stayed over somehow. Very unique looking, un basically like unlike anything else out there in this world. Well, imagine that the pangolin, which is about the size of, let's say, a dog, something along those lines, small dog in other words, but this case, much larger, the size of a horse, and with its scales, also much more prominent, and that's what you have here when it comes to the veal. In fact, they've been described as being 10 feet long. Can you believe that? You'll definitely know that you're running into one of these just because of that size there. Its scales are also very overlapping, and they also create most of its body. So in other words, you're not going to see any area around it really that has uh, no scales on it. And they are so strong that it's to the point that it's actually bulletproof. So nothing will essentially harm it short of, let's say, something really catastrophic. But no, bullets will essentially bounce off of it as well. And then it has a very, very long head as well. And then it has fur that is found in only one place, which is right there on its head. And then also throughout other underbelly parts of its body. But otherwise, everything else is just pretty much it when it comes to the scales. If you're going to try to find out where this creature is, it mainly comes down to the time of day. It's a, it's a regular creature that's out there during the daytime itself. So if you wanted to catch it at night, you're going to have a much harder time doing so. But during the daytime, it's cool. And then also you'll be able to find it usually on the coastlines because that's where it essentially feeds. It feeds off of these termites and then it feeds off of other insects, maybe ants as well. And then every now and then a shellfish too. It has been seen doing so as well. You may have the chance of running into it at night because some of these veo like to hunt for shellfish during the nighttime. And so that's when you'll know that uh, you're in its vicinity if you see a lot of sh uh, sh uh, shellfish around that location too. But otherwise, the other way to, distinct, uh, to distinctly know that you're surrounded by it or nearby its area is this. It definitely has a very unique call. In fact, it almost sounds like an owl. The, cow the call of it is associated with it going hoo hoo hoo, like something along the lines that again, you would hear in the nighttime involving an owl somewhere nearby. But in this case, it has to do with the veal. But it's not during the day and it's not during the night. Essentially, it's towards the evening. That's where you'll essentially find it there. Uh, you'll, in other words, you'll hear it around your area and then that's when you'll find it as well. So who knows, maybe if you're in an area that has a lot of insects or maybe even some shellfish. And again, you're located on that island associated with Rinka there in Indonesia. 
then you'll have a good chance of seeing this magnificent creature. I'm sure it's actually very beautiful to look at. You do want to stay away from it, though, even though it's considered more along the lines of a passive creature. Like, there's no indications, really, that it goes towards hunting people or causing great damage to people. Um, it will defend itself. In fact, when it's threatened, it'll actually sit upright and then use its giant claws to lash out at people. So you don't want to stick around too close to it when it feels threatened because it will absolutely use those uh, those those claws uh, to its advantage and who knows how much great harm it could do as well. Now, as far as some of the encounters associated with this VO, there's this. There was a Rinchja hunter who claimed to have encountered one over there by a place called Loho Buaji. Somebody might let me know again where that is if you're there on the local level, uh, because if you want to find an even more exact spot, well, there you go. It's listed right there. Both this hunter and then also a policeman came into the vicinity associated with this VO. And then when that happened, they basically just froze. They knew what they were up against. When something is that large, it has those gigantic scales, bulletproof, it looks very intimidating, and it's 10 feet long and it's nearby, they basically just froze. They basically went to the ground and stayed there. And then this VO, as I was mentioning earlier, doesn't seem to cause much harm to people. It just basically sauntered away at that point. So if you're in the vicinity of one of those and you want this creature to leave you alone, just leave it alone. And then you can in turn uh, go about your business afterward. And then as far as any other indications, as far as today, unfortunately, there's not much sightings today. There was some but it looks like it seems to have died down. Who knows if this is because these VOs have moved on to another location or if they're victims of their own circumstance, like being that large, they have to eat as much as they can and maybe there's not enough foods around. Who knows? But the population associated with them has apparently dwindled down. They may be located on some of the islands associated called Java and then Borneo. Let me know if those are nearby the other islands as well. But yeah, otherwise, they may just be that they are becoming more and more extinct, like they were just a one-off of some variation involving the pangolin or some other type of creature, and then little by little, they're just dwindling off altogether. But if that's the case, it'll be sad because ultimately these look to be very, very beautiful creatures. But again, no known modern uh, size, uh, at least with regards to this creature, have been found associated with these VOs. Pangolins are still around, but nothing involving something like this large when it comes to to its existence. But otherwise, let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Those of you that have been there to that island, that Rinka Island in Indonesia, maybe those of you that were there at a place called Loho Boaji, or maybe others at nearby islands of Java and Borneo. It sounds like there's multiple locations that this creature could be at. You know the exact uh, time periods now, and then you also know the areas that, that involve uh, its favorite food. So anybody that knows more info about direct contacts, and uh, you have more info, post it below. All right, everybody. Thanks again, as always. Take care. Bye.